Hello everyone, this is Digit D, and today I got a cool video for you guys. And this video is tailored to on how to master every single class in your character proficiency for all your characters without using the juice bar, which is pretty cool. So this is what I mean. If you go to your status and you go to your class, you can see that I already mastered some of the ones for this character, but if you take a look, they have a proficiency for stars. This is what helps you unlock more evil tees for the specific class or characters. If you already have it mastered or if you want more evil tees, this is the best way to do it. Uh, this is my method on how to master it for not just one person, not one character, but for all of your characters all at the same time or the limit on how to do it on a stage without using the juice bar this is without using the juice bar there is a way to do it without the juice bar if you don't have any money this works with no hell in this you can do this with no hell at all which is really cool to master all of your characters class proficiency with this I did a few tests while I was been playing and I figured out that you can do this and I figured this out using the main character in the game I mastered all of his prof uh, his class proficiency and then I was also I realized you can level up another person's at the same time within only two or four hours so it took me about two hours to master all of these up it doesn't take long at all but caveats you need to make sure you're in post game for this to work if you're doing normal it's not gonna work it's going to work but not that well you're not gonna get a lot of points and it's not going to get your class proficiency up faster this is when you're in post game and this is for helping you master every single character that's in your slot that you have in your party with this your characters will do stuff faster and easy so if we did decide to do the juice bar so i made a new character so i can show you what i mean so let's say you wanted to go do the juice bar and you have to get a drink you can see my exp because i've been doing some other stuff to get my main character to nine million nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine that took a couple of days to do that so <laughs> it's gonna take days i'm still trying to figure out the best way to level up the character and stuff once i figure out i will tell everybody on how to do it so the thing is so uh, I've made a new character for, and our, her name is Momoko. We're gonna go to where it says class proficiency. If you hit the Y and just hold the left, I'm using a GameCube controller, you hold the Y button and then hit left. You can just do it like that super fast. Uh, so we're gonna hover all of these over and we're gonna find out how many juice bar points does it take or e stored exp does it take bum, 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 bum. there's 22 characters in all 22 so there's only 22 characters they took out a lot of characters from the other games the sky of five is my favorite of all the disguise games it is the sky of five caveat so uh so you can see how much stored e how much you at exp that she uses she uses six billion seven hundred and ninety five million nine hundred and seventy four thousand four hundred i do have my phone right here and i did a little math if you want to do it it will take this much so let's say you have the store exp because you've been level grinding a lot for your characters but the problem is you don't have the hell that be your money the money it's going to cost the exact same amount for your money and the you and your used exp there is a way to make 
tons of money in the game, but it takes eight or eight or more hours to do. It's not. It's very slow, but it takes time to make that much money. Uh, it takes a very, very, very long time until you get to the higher modes of Carnage and the Rakasha modes or the higher mode past that to make even any amount of money that you wanted to just do it quick and easy. So I only have 140 billion. Hell, I only have 140 billion. Yeah, that's all I have. I've... I've been playing this game for a long time now, and I only have 140 billion hell, which is not much at all comparative. So I have a total of 33 characters. Let's say I take that number. So we're going to take the number that I have. I already have it saved on my phone. So I take that number times 33 and hit enter. This is what you come out to be which is 224,267,155,200. That's how much stored EXP you need for me. Well, technically, I need to master every single character with class proficiency. That's how, fa that's how much it cost for me to get 33 characters done. But I don't have that, so I'm not going to do it that way. I kind of see it as more boring for me to do that route. I'd rather do it the other route that I'm going to show you, which is really fast, really, really fast. And it can be done within two to four hours straight, but you have to watch it. You have to watch it, so you have to play the game if you want to be doing you don't want to do it the lazy way that we don't play the game and just wait 16 hours and you'll have it this method will be done within four between two to four hours to get your characters completely start so and the first caveat is you got to get to post game once you get the post game getting to post game beat the game it takes you into carnage you're into the carnage mode now you can do it but now you need the other evil teas and or cheat shop or other stuff to help you acquire the class proficiency you need to get to the point where it almost finish in a fight because all your class proficiency is gained at the end of every single fight that you do at the end of the fight that's when the accumulated as added on to the points. It doesn't matter during the entire fight. You can have one person out, clear almost the entire stage. Then you add in an extra person, they will also get those class proficiency points, which is pretty darn cool. So that means you can do the entire stage with one person, one character, bring out all your other characters, they will acquire all of the class proficiency points also. Or you can stack your characters and they will all still gain the class proficiency all at once, which is really awesome. But the caveat, there's another caveat is if characters do not have, so let's say you want to go to your manage, go manage innocence. This is, I did a video on how to max these out. If you go to manage innocence and you go to, oh, I just, what I'm doing, I gotta pick an item. Just pick an item. <laughs> uh, just go to my other. You can see that I have statisticians at 900. It's maxed out. It says increase EXP gain by innocent value percent. So this is going to increase it by another 900%, which is actually really cool. It only can ha it only works on it works on every single character, but individually. So you have to have one per item, a uh, one per character, and it would work. So there is one for class proficiency, which is really awesome, and that is called supervisors. Supervisors. Uh, the two rare ones, the two rare innocents are instructors and another one. But supervisor 
increases your class proficiency by 1900 percent which is really high that is really really high to have at 1900 percent so i'm going to show you what i mean that you can get a class proficiency bonus boost without having this on and i'm going to show you what it looks like with it on increased amount for your characters and everything else uh so so like my character zed i can use my character zed he has everything maxed out uh if we go to his weapons equipment you can see <clears throat> i have supervisor on here he has the supervisor method equip so we have that so you make sure you have one of those on there then the next thing you want to have for your characters is the evil tease setup you need career trainee class changer or pro class changer career master and workshop intern these are your class proficiency stuff that adds up that adds this adds up for class proficiency to get your stuff extremely high so now you have these so you have to make sure you have these evil teeth and then you got to make sure you have the cheat shop also that be adjust setting i did the reason why i have so much in there if you want to know is before I unlocked Rikasha mode or the Rikasha mode, the higher mode, it gives you 2,000 extra cheat uh, bonus points. I was doing this with only 1,000 and I was still able to max all my characters. So uh, max the one character that I have and someone else. So I'm showing you that you can just uh, do this with just 1,000 class proficiency and then have everything else with all of your extra proficiency bonuses added on so you have the cheat shop you have your evil teas and you have your innocent those are three things to maximize your class proficiency to the max this will be um this is your maximum so remember you got to have your cheat the cheat shop at a thousand because this is for if you don't have rakasha mode and you're only in the land you're only in carnage mode so this is for only if you're in carnage mode so you got to have your cheat shop at a thousand then you have to have all of the evil teas for your um class proficiencies and then once you have all your evil teas for your class proficiencies you got to have your innocent at 1900 where it says supervisor at 1900 so those three things will make your maximize everything for maximization for getting class proficiency extremely high extremely high so we're gonna do this and make sure to always save always save this is my thing it's always save your game just in case I, I i save a lot i save a lot so um so now let's do let's do this i'm gonna go to a specific stage so i can show you what i mean uh there's a stage that i've been doing this on was tv to world for some odd reason you get a lot of you get a lot because i tried this on some other stuff thanks to my screen being in the way here let's see if i can edit this real fast um let's see i'm editing the position Oh, it doesn't look like I can move it at the moment while I'm recording. Okay, there we go. It moved. <laughs> okay. So, during the stage difficulty that's on the screen, if you can see, I'm trying to point at it. <laughs> but, uh, the stage difficulty... You can see it right here. If you hit the right bumper or the left bumper, you can change it from uh, normal. See, I have the Rakasha mode because I just unlocked it not too long ago. Uh, but the Carnage mode. 
so we're gonna go to carnage and it's gonna be going prism street so we're gonna set out and go to prism street so make sure you don't have your auto stuff turned on as soon as the fight starts so let me change it back for you uh uh uh, uh. advance we're going to There we go. We just went and changed our thing back. So what we're going to do here is how to make sure you're getting the right points that you think you're getting. So you go to your character. So I have Zed. I'm going to go to the new character because this is Momoko, the new character. So let's say I look at Serena's. Proof of what you can do is I'm in my status. I go into my class proficiency. I scroll down to the bottom and see what I got. So the best way to test this out is, is to just select one of these that are empty and see how much you get or how much it, you get total for the entire fight. So since she has, a, uh, since she has uh, her status is, let's see, I have her stuff with the workshop intern and everything else for the class proficiency. So she's going to get the second max amount she's not going to get the third is the reason why she's not going to get the third max amount because i don't have a static i don't have the supervisor innocent on her so but she's still going to get a lot just from one character him he it's just going to work for some reason so we're going to do this i'm going to select the character here we're gonna, here's an example who don't have anything equipped, has zero this, has, if we go to status and go to class, she has none of this filled out. Zero, nothing. We're at 19,200. So now we're gonna show you where it's going to be at that last star, and it's gonna be at around 300 million after this one fight. So, we're going to move here, move her here, okay? And now we're going to just hit the auto button because this is how I've been doing it sometimes. <laughs> this is auto. Um, if you want to get the faster mode, you have to buy it with mana points. And it gets ridiculously high to unlock that last one. The last one is a hundred and... It's a hundred billion mana. No, no, it's a hundred... Yeah, it's a hundred billion mana. So you're gonna need a hundred billion mana to do it, which takes absurd amount of mana to do. So, and I finally got it. It says go beyond light speed and everything else. I did get Momo code to 99 because you can just spend the uh, mana to do it. So, what do you think it's going to be at? I'll wait five seconds. All right, so if you think it's that, then you might be wrong. So let's go to status and look at her class now would you look at there it's in the part that i said it was going to be it's going to be in the fifth star but i did say 300 million but i was off by like 7 million she's at 293 million and this is with no equipment okay this is with no equipment and no evil teeth because she doesn't have any evil teeth at all this is with nothing okay and this is all from just one character main character zed so you can see i picked her up and let him do all the fighting she literally almost got five stars from that one fight almost five stars it will probably take two more times and it's mastered. Two more fights. That's it. Hey, I two more fights. So let's say you want to optimize it. So I'm gonna do what I said earlier. So we're gonna go to the character. We're going to we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to the skill shop. We're going to um create a scroll. We're gonna go do it from Zed because Zed has a lot. We're gonna go to obtain. This is another fast way to do it. 
and we're going to give her all the class proficiency stuff. So we have class profi class proficiency trainee, the changer, the pro, the career master. So now she's gonna have it. Let's go to items. Career master, use. Momoko, use. So now I go to the character. Evil teeth, class. Aw, it looks like we can't equip the clear master. If so, just get rid of the trainee and put on the clear, uh, career master. It is once you at least master one class, then she'll get an extra slot. So it's not gonna take long to get an extra slot for her at all. Then once we have that, I'm going to go get, go to here. We're gonna just give her a simple weapon. So we're gonna go to manage innocence. We're gonna go collect symbol. Cause she was getting the 1000 from the cheat shop. And this is without any equipment or any of the stuff added on. So. We're going to select the supervisor. And we're only going to give her one. Because it only that's all she needs. Then. Go to character. And we're going to equip. This one has it. With the thimble. So now she has it equipped with the supervisor. Now she has most of the evil teas equipped, and then she's getting the cheat shop. So she's getting the max, just about the maximum percent she can get from class proficiency, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now we're going to go back to that same stage again. This is in Carnage mode because I already showed you that I'm in Carnage. I'm doing it in Carnage right here carnage mode and because if she comes out she's gonna get owned she's gonna die so like this we can do this so we're gonna move down you can see that he just did most of the fight by himself didn't even have to worry about it we're gonna bring out momoko again and you can check her status her stats on her class is still going to be chained. It's still going to be the same until the fight is over. So once the fight is over, she gets the acquired points. So we're going to move her on top of that Z uh, Zed. So now he can finish the fight. We're going to do auto battle because I, I want to show you quicker. Oops. There we go. Auto battle, sorry about that. Then we go down, we go to Momoko again. We go to status. This is with the uh, thimble that I gave her where she has it equipped. And this is with the cheat shop at a thousand. And this is with all of her evil teas that she has on. So now we look at it. She's at 193 million to get go for leveling up to the rest of this so it takes every time you do this you're getting at least a hundred million points that's how much points that you get is a hundred million one hundred million points to do this every single time a hundred million which is really high so you want to see and this is just for one character okay I'm showing you with one character. So now let me show you with another character. Now I have another character that's a robot. Because <laughs> the robots are the best characters. We're going to be doing the dragon. It's at 16,000. I'm just going to move. Because they're all weak on top of here. Then I'm going to move another character. That has another status of a class. Uh, we're gonna just do the warrior for her where she doesn't even I'm just going to move how many more characters I can do this with I can do this with six more people Mind you status wise 
we're going to go here. Uh, we're going to do leave it on the witch. Move. Then we're going to move girl Laharo. Asagi. And then we're going to do Rosalind, Melodia, and a person named Random Name. Okay? And if we look at their stats, for his stuff is already mastered. Her stuff is not mastered from Momoko's. And she is going to be Mecha Girl. Uh, the other Mecha Girl is on, um, is on Dragon. The thief is on the warrior. She's on the witch. The warrior. She is on the pretty. Roslyn is on the warrior. She's on the clergy. She, and he's on the ninja. Okay? Those are eight people. They're all pretty darn high. So now we're going to finish the fight. So we finished the fight there. So now if we go back to those same characters I just did, you can see now the dragon, you can see how much it shot up to already. Another one for that much, just for her, the dragon. Then let's look at Momoko's. I'm sorry about that. Status. Go to deem. Go to class. She's almost done. And then we go to Room of Era because she is on. Yep, Warrior. Then it was her. Girl Laharo. Asagi. Roslyn. Melodia and random name and then we complete it one more time so it takes three fights total mostly but it, since I brought them out at different times it's going to do that so once this is finished I you will be able to see that you can master just about everyone's cla um, class proficiency really fast and you can see there's some characters that don't even have these evil tees equipped. Like, those other characters, like her, she doesn't have any of those evil tees equipped. She doesn't have any armors. She doesn't have uh, any of the evil tees equipped. This is all she got. And look at her class. She's about to be done already. That's wild already. Just from that. That is wild. So now I look at hers and let's see what we got. The dragon is about to be mastered. It's going to probably take two more fights already, but that's that's not long at all. It's going to be mastered. Then let's see. Let me get everyone out again. So there's no more. Sit and we're gonna do this again. And I wanna show you real fast. We're gonna go to status. We're gonna go class. So we already seen hers. You can see hers. You can see hers. Then you can see uh, this one. Oh, well, look, would you look at that? Momoko was mastered. Now I could pick someone else. You know, I'm gonna pick the martial artist because you could just pick someone else's while you're doing this. Um, 
you can see there's 62 we can look at a soggies and see printings left then we can go to Roslyn we got hers she's on clergy about to have that master he's on ninja so now we're gonna finish the fight it's done Now, we go back and look at those same characters again. Oh, one more time. That's it. One more fight. It's done. One more fight. She is Master Dragon. And it didn't take long at all. Uh, let me get everybody back out again. So we're gonna run through it. You can basically do this on any stage in Carnage, but it has to be a point where you're able to defeat the monsters on Carnage. Cause this stage, I picked this one because I'm able to defeat them on Carnage at a specific point. But let's, so there we go, we're done. We did another one. Now, if we go back, I'm going to get everyone out again. And then we go to class. So now, if we look, would you look at that? She mastered dragon. That's awesome. She mastered dragon. It didn't even take long. I did it within this video. Uh, I mastered. She's mastered warrior. She's mastered witch. Mastered warrior. Uh, she just mastered which one? The pretty one. I mastered another class. Warrior just mastered the clergy and i just mastered the ninja and then he didn't even do anything and then i mastered uh the mecha girl and started the martial artist the martial artist need one more that's it it's master this is what you can do to master all of your class proficiency for all your characters really fast if you want them to get the more you can give them all of the stuff, but at this point, it seems like it doesn't matter for some odd reason, but this is only at a thousand percent, and with all your extra stuff and person who's doing it, you're basically getting the max amount you can just about get, which is a hundred thousand, unless you increase the cheat shop to three thousand, and then you can go from there, but this is my method on how to raise your care your class proficiency and max out so many characters really fast this is the best method without money and without using the juice bar is doing this method here this will allow you to max out many characters class proficiency and make it easier so I have one last thing to show you. I have to see if they have it. I gotta see if they have it or not. So, uh, the last thing I wanted to show you is in the Dark Assembly. If you want to do this, I don't know how it would do, is the... I don't know if they have it in this one. I don't think they have it. It where it allows you to have at least 20 people out at one time, but it looks like it's not in this one. They don't have it in this game of Disgaea. So, I'm not going to tell you. You can it's in Disgaea 5 where you can have up to like 20 people out, which is really awesome, but they removed it. So, out of this one. They removed it out of this one. So, but 
I hope this video helps you out. I hope this video showed you more information on how to get your character's stats and how to get your class all mastered. So if this helps you out without using any hell, I'm glad this video was able to help you out and I'm glad for anything. You, if you have any questions or anything about any of this stuff, just say something in the comments below. I will, I do read my comments and I do respond to you guys and everything else. So I would like to thank you for this. Thank you for watching. I found this out and I wanted to share it with everybody, but this is the fastest way that I know of without spending any of the hell to get this done within a couple of hours for multiple characters and I have it recorded on this video showing you how to do it and everything else with the step by step. So the last th reminder is remember to have your cheat, uh, your cheat shop at a thousand, your uh, supervisor at 1900 and then make sure you have all the evil teas for class proficiencies and everything else so I will thank you guys for watching my video and I hope anybody learned stuff so I will see you guys in the next video take care